Sway or PowerPoint, what Microsoft presentation tool will you choose next? Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I've created a video that's gonna compare the difference between Microsoft PowerPoint and Microsoft Sway and help you choose what will be better for your next presentation process. Also, check the, check the timestamps down below because then you can jump to different sections and you can see how I'm comparing the different ones. And at the very end of this video, I'll give you my final verdict on how I would be using them because there is a difference on the purpose of these presentations tools. If you're used to PowerPoint presentations, it might seem like Microsoft created an unnecessary duplication called Sway. While both applications are powerful, they're not designed for the same purpose. Let's start with a quick overview of Sway versus PowerPoint. Now, Sway is a super easy, intuitive design program from Microsoft. It allows users to pull content from the web and different sources, and you can create colorful stories, reports, presentations, and more. Uh, the presentation software doesn't require any design skills. Sway is super easy to use as long as you can drag and drop and have an internet connection. PowerPoint is a household name when it comes to creating presentations. For most users, it go, it's the go-to software for presentations due to its ability to create highly interactive and stylish content. Microsoft designed the program with tons of features and powerful editing tools creating outstanding presentations, especially for corporate and business use. So in this section, let's talk about the main differences. And this is probably what most people are curious about. Why use Sway? Why use Microsoft? Where's the differences? Comparing Sway versus PowerPoint is not a matter of what application is better. In fact, Microsoft didn't develop the former to compete with the latter. Instead, Sway is a fully functional program designed to complement PowerPoint. Of course, there are a few overlaps where you can use either, but here are some of the main differences between the two programs. Price and access. Price is one of the biggest difference when it comes to comparing Sway versus PowerPoint. While both programs are part of Microsoft Office 365 suite, the Sway app is free for anyone with a Microsoft account. Users can access it either on the web or through the desktop. On the other hand, PowerPoint must be purchased as a standalone license as an Office bundle or as part of the Office 365 license. When thinking about the intended purpose of either Sway or PowerPoint, Sway to me is a more casual approach. It kind of has just an easy feel to kind of tell you're telling a story with it and it's for more web based consumption of it. On the other hand, PowerPoint, I think of it more as business oriented, more structured, has lots of powerful features, but you can use it in an online or offline environment. So what is the offline usage for these products? You can't use it without an internet connection. It's designed to be a web-based program that can only be used with an internet connected device. On the other hand, Microsoft PowerPoint can be used both online and offline, but while the features will work just fine, you can't search for online content and save projects to a cloud location without an internet connection. In this next section, I wanna compare the interfaces and layouts of these two Microsoft applications. Sway features a simple drag and drop interface with only a few menus. The workspace is almost a blank canvas that allows the user to quickly add content and reorder them easily. To make things easier for the user, an auto edit function called Remix is included to randomly suggest designs. Now, on the other hand, PowerPoint interface is more organized. Functions are arranged into ribbons and quite a number of tabs. The workspace is very professional and mastering the program can take a while. In the layout of Sway, there are three layouts so available. We have our vertical. In this one, the layout lets your content scroll up and down like a regular web page. You have horizontal. You can continuously scroll sideways in this layout. And we have slideshow. This works like a typical PowerPoint layout. On the other hand, PowerPoint uses the slideshow format to create presentations, but you can use the special you can use the special effects to make your presentations have a continuous feel. Transitions and timers are among these features that can automatically make your presentation flow seamlessly. Using templates can really speed up the design process. Now, both of these have some templates in them, but I want to show you the main differences between them. 
Sway has only a few templates compared to PowerPoint. Even the term template is too strong for what is available in Sway. A better term would be styles. You can control the overall design of your project using the available styles in Sway. The good thing about them, it's fully customizable. PowerPoint takes the lead when it comes to sheer volume of templates available. This can simplify the process of creating professional looking presentations. Before I give you my final verdict here between Microsoft PowerPoint and Microsoft Sway, I just want to talk about collaboration and sharing inside these two products. Now, the other thing I just wanted to point out, point out if you do want to learn more about either of these, I do have beginner tour, the tutorials in Microsoft Sway and PowerPoint, and I will put the link to those down below in the description. Collaboration. Sway is a cloud-based program so users can easily collaborate on projects simultaneously. Granting permissions to edit is as simple as selecting edit when you're sharing the link to your project. The collaboration feature is not available in the standalone version of PowerPoint. You can only work with multiple users at a time if you use PowerPoint as part of a 365 license. Sharing. Sharing your Sway projects can be done in a few different ways. You can share your work with others by copying the link to your project and sending it through email or text. You can also share via Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. You can also choose to embed the link in your Sway in a web page or even generate a visual link. In any case, you can control whether those you share with can only view or edit the document. For PowerPoint, sharing your presentation depends on the version you're using. You can share via link or email if you have an Office 365 license. If you use the desktop version that's not connected to the Office 365, you can only share your projects with others through email or other file sharing methods. You'll need to save the presentation as a read-only file, at least convert it to a PDF if you don't want others to edit it. So the final verdict. Here's my final verdict for the comparison between Microsoft Sway and Microsoft PowerPoint. Now I would go with PowerPoint if you need a presenter for your next presentation. Uh, that would be a key thing that I'd look for. PowerPoint is more of that professional looking business suited for business corporate uh, presentations, especially if you're using charts or graphs inside of it. And plus with all the different templates that you can uh, get from PowerPoint or the ones that you can add online, you can have them looking very professional. Now, I would go with Sway if you don't need a presenter. Maybe you've created something and you can just share the link out and it's much more interactive. And again, I find it more casual and friendly uh, with Sway. Uh, if you're using things like a video, you can plunk them in, YouTube videos easily plunk them into a Sway and everything's working online, lots of images and things like that. So there is a difference on which way I would use a Sway or a PowerPoint. I hope this came in handy if you were deciding whether which one to use for your next presentation project. Let me know in the comments down below uh, what you think of this, uh, what else you're looking for, maybe in PowerPoint or Sway. Thanks for watching this time on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next week with more tech tips and tutorials.